Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your love short for this week in August. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this Capricorn. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Capricorn off camera, I was hearing, it's not over between you and me. And then the death card popped out in reverse. And none of my cards are reversed. So, you know. so somebody feels like it's not over between you and them, all right? Um, let's see. Let's see what's going on, Capricorn. Let's see. What's going on, my cappies? Um, I know some of you are in really good relationships. It's moving toward um, marriage. It's progressing nicely. Let's see. Okay, the five of wands. Um, there's been some petty arguments, some drama here between you and somebody else. I think it was because it was like competing goals. Okay, you guys just couldn't see eye to eye, didn't want the same thing, or there was competition here. Uh, there was some interference, but it was petty. It was, it wasn't anything real, or it wasn't anything to really um, upset the relationship, but it did. The magician card. It seems as if there is some powerful man here who has a lot of uh, influence, um, who wants to kind of manipulate the energy, who is using his words wisely, um, trying to, once again, manipulate for however, whether that's in a good way or a bad way. Um, this card specifically talks about using your words wisely, um, playing your cards right. It's almost as if somebody's trying to play their cards right in terms of um, getting back on your your good side or staying on your good side. You could be dealing with a, uh, not a, yeah, a Gemini or a Virgo here. Uh, the Knight of Swords here you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, it seems as if maybe somebody has some choice words for you, some confrontational words, something that maybe you don't want to hear. Somebody has intellectualized their viewpoint, therefore they know what they're talking about. You can't move them off their square. They're very smart. They're coming to you with well detailed concise laid out uh formation of how they feel and what they think they're determined to get their point out and um to to really um make known how they feel they don't have a plan of action either they can be very grand in how they're coming to you or what they're talking about the death card um this could be the ending of a relationship here Someone could be telling you, I, I want the relationship to end. It needs to be over. But somebody feels like it's not over between you and them. Or you feel this way. The emperor could be a husband type figure saying, look, it's not over between you and me. Um, maybe not until I say so. Um, let's see. Somebody said, I built you or I made you. The nine of pentacles. Yeah, somebody said, look, I'm good all by myself. I can handle this by myself. I don't need you. I don't need this energy. I'm relying on me. I don't want to have any more intimate connection with you, any more closeness, uh, any more sexual, uh, any more vulnerable connection with you. I do not trust you. I cannot let you in my heart space, in my home. Ten of pentacles. Someone says, I'm ready for a real connection. Um, someone says, uh, with the ten of pentacles, this could be some masculine energy who has a lot of influence. You could be marrying into money or have married into money or married someone with money or affluence or influence here. Um, this person feels as if they made you or you feel as if you made them. There's an energy of something like that going on here. There could be a transference of wealth here, maybe by way of divorce. Somebody's like, I'm divorcing you and I'm going to take half or I'm going to take this or I'm going to take that. Oh, the lover's card. There is a choice of lovers. Maybe there's a significant relationship that is coming to play in this connection here, all in this, this spear. Um, I don't know. It's bringing a lot of balance or it has brought balance. So you need to make a choice here in terms of to keep the balance, to keep the harmony. Um, because it might be discord right now within, in, within a connection. The king of wands. Somebody's going after whatever it is they want, what they desire. They see it, they conquer it, they go after it. Um, could be an entrepreneur of some sort. Somebody has to make some choice over what they love to do in their work or what they, their work and their love. I don't know if you work with your loved one or your, your partner, or your spouse, and maybe you have to 
you know, or divide assets or divide the business or something of that nature. You gotta make a choice about business and love. Uh, the high priestess, maybe because there was something or someone in the background, um, they didn't have a title, but somebody else had the title, but somebody knows about this other person. And the high priestess is doing nothing. She's sitting there playing her part. Also, there could be some secret books or some secret, uh, yeah, secret financial records or books or somebody's keeping something from the other person. Oh, Jesus Christ. Three of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody's keeping money or uh, legal issues uh, from another person or they're not, they're withholding or they're holding back or they don't want the other person to get a piece of this. Uh, they don't want them to have a piece of this. Um, some of you are building or or you're getting ready to build and go and hell no not today okay. Okay. oh I thought it said I wasn't recording okay great I, I was recording. All right, well, we're going to keep this thing going, and I'm not editing this out. I thought I wasn't recording. But anyway, somebody feels as if with the high priestess and the three of pentacles, as if you're building with somebody else in secret, too, or you're keeping some secret books, or you're keeping some secret woman. The hermit card um, could be a Virgo here. Um, somebody feels left out or abandoned, or they're by themselves, or they're making some solid, uh, yeah, they're making some solitary plans for themselves the page of cups it also could be um a new person involved here maybe even a baby or as i say that a baby the sun card with the page of cups in the world somebody's in the nine of cups somebody is having a baby ten of cups eight of cups um somebody's having a baby with a mistress or starting a family with a mistress or they have kids elsewhere yeah, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, could be you, Capricorn. It could be someone else. Let me give you some advice, Capricorn. The Four of Wands. It looks like your home, your happy project, your life is elsewhere. You could have a child or there could be a, a new child on the way or somebody is trying to have a child or somebody's trying to marry into your money. Someone wants you for your money. They understand what comes with you and being with you. You have a lot of influence and affluence. You're taking them up to the next level here. They could be social climbing with you. You could be feeling as if you made someone or vice versa. They feel this way about you. I'm not exactly sure. Um, there's somebody who's still married too. If you're dealing with someone, all links are below. If you need to get your own personal reading, if you want to go over to the website to book there, or if you want to ask a question or two by texting it to the number below, you can do so. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Capricorn. Many blessings to you. Take care.